Let's talk about the updates that Adobe made to Captivate 2019 edition, specifically version 11.5. And you can check your version from the help menu on Windows. You can choose about Adobe Captivate. And you can see that this for me is 11.5 and then some little digits after that. So really it's 11.5 that I'm talking about. And during this video, I want to show you the assets that have been added to Captivate 2019 11.5. So I'm going to click Assets here in the upper right. They've kind of moved assets so they're grouped with library and properties. So I'm going to click Assets. And that opens up a really improved Assets dialog box. The usual suspects from previous versions of Captivate would have included characters and they're still there. I'll talk about project assets in a future video because it's a pretty deep dive and I want to do it justice. But for now, just understand that characters is pretty much the same. I haven't done a character count to see if they've enhanced them. It looks like they have. I'm going to choose icons because that's brand new. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select, maybe I'll choose bug and I'll click insert. And what I love about these images is that they're SVGs, meaning unlike JPEGs and GIFs and that kind of web graphic, as you resize these images, it looks blurry for a second, but when I let go, the scaling is beautiful. You don't lose any resolution. So I love that. I'm going to go back and click Assets again to bring back the Assets dialog box. And this time I'm going to check out Buttons. One of the things that I've really been looking for in Captivate is an improvement in the standard buttons that they give you. So I'm going to choose the one called Play here and I'll click Insert. I think you'll agree that this enhanced button is far better than the old buttons that you still have in Captivate. If I go to Interactions and choose Button, the button that appears in the middle of my slide is the standard fare. And there it is. If I double click this button, certainly I can change it from a text button to an image button and then choose from these images in the inspector. But really, I find these buttons out of the box to be significantly better. And if you look at the actions tab on the inspector, they're already set just like a standard button to go to the next slide, which of course you can change. The next thing through assets, would be audio. They've really improved the audio files that you get. I'll just insert this. It'll insert the audio right to my slide and here it is. All right, let me stop that. And back to assets one final time. I really love the fact that they've enhanced the 360 degree assets. They've given you a few more assets, which is great. All right, play around with those assets, and in the next video, I'll talk about the project assets.